physics blender. I love 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 physics blender. Subscribe for more videos. Let's continue our classwork about thin converging lens, paper four. Uh, it's classwork for extended candidates, and we have question five. On this figure, we have a converging lens projects a sharp image of an object O on to a screen and complete the path of the two rays from the object to the screen. Okay, use your ruler to continue the straight line here no bending yet okay so it will continue in a straight line till the center line at the middle of the lens and it will be refracted here at this construction line the midline in the lens okay you know that this image will be formed on a screen and it's a sharp image okay so the light rays will refract and converge and they will intersect here on the screen to form a sharp image so rays will be refracted here and they will intersect on the screen to form sharp image is it clear okay and please don't forget to add the arrow to your diagram okay okay the second case you have converging lens in a is replaced with a thinner converging lens here i would like to uh, tell you uh, what is the difference between uh, the lens in the first case and the one in the second case when you find the faces of the lens are more curved like the first one here this one okay it uh, the faces are uh, more curved it means it has smaller focal length so when faces are more curved faces are more curved so it means the focal length is short and also it means it's more powerful more powerful what do you mean by the power of a lens a power of uh, a lens it's defined as the reciprocal of its focal length so the greater the power it means the focal length is shorter the greater the power it means the focal length is shorter that's why in the second case here we have a thin converging lens thinner than the first one and it has a longer focal length so how you can continue uh, the rays uh, it means that shorter focal length the lens is powerful and it refracts and converge light rays more than other uh, lenses okay so when we are starting now to draw the light rays of uh, the second uh, lens which has longer uh, focal length it means it's less powerful so less powerful the rays will not converge the light rays will not converge as in the first case so when you are bending and refracting the light rays they will bend less than the first one okay so here you know that this lens it has longer focal length and less powerful okay less power okay let's continue to draw the light rays it will continue 
in a straight line till the center line here in the lens okay be careful because you would like to refract it less than the first one less than the first one less converge so the light rays will not converge as before so maybe they will not intersect as before okay maybe they will intersect beyond the screen maybe okay so here the light rays will converge less why because the focal length is longer the focal length is longer which means the lens itself it has less power than before okay okay so here uh, we already done with this one complete the path of the two rays from uh, the object to the screen so no need uh, to draw uh, where they intersect beyond the screen just showing that they would, would intersect maybe beyond the screen because less bending okay so here converge less and refract less than before this question is challenging it's very important okay so we are done with part b let's move to part c part c now is talking about different uh, different concept they are discussing the converging lens is used as magnifying glass magnifying glass and the focal length is uh, mentioned 10 centimeters describe where uh, the object is located related to the lens to get the magnified uh, image okay as we said earlier in paper uh, two uh, we were discussing the object should be located between the focus and the lens so the object the object should be placed between the focus and the lens and to be more accurate it should be the object is closer to the lens then f okay to be more accurate describe the position of the image related to the lens and the object where the image will be uh, found the image will be further from the lens than the object the image will be further from the lens than the object because the image the object will be located between the image and the lens so the image is located further from the lens than the object okay what are the properties of uh, the image formed by magnifying glass remember lost location so when you have to uh, mention in details any description for any image you should mention location orientation 
size and type okay size and type okay so the image is virtual for sure and it is enlarged and up right okay what else you can say the location where you can find the image the image will be formed is located at the same side of the lens as the object okay so you will find the image where you can find the object at the same side of uh, the lens is it clear so this is very important to describe any image you, you should know lost location orientation size and type okay is it clear okay so guys this question is very important please you should uh, answer this question again as a graded classwork and be ready for your homework Subscribe for more videos. I love physics blender. 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 I love physics blender.